Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to the finale of Code of Princess. I can't believe it's finally here, but our long-awaited journey, one of my favorite games of all time, is coming to a close as we enter Heliodor Castle to take down Queen Destiny. Let's do it. Not mincing any words, we're just storming the castle, taking down everything in sight. Let's do it. And with these extra levels, these minor enemies are going to be chump changed to us. Yeah, there's no need to worry right now. Let's go ahead and take them all down. Fell one fell swoop. Oh my god, I can't believe we're already singing here. I, like, I know this game is short, but it has the illusion of being long from the 3DS version because I... Uh, every time I beat a mission with one character, I'd go back and beat it with the other three main characters just so I could keep them all evenly leveled and I could use whatever character I wanted to use for like the appropriate time. But this one wound up becoming a lot uh, shorter, even though I had to do some off-screen training. It was still just a pretty short experience, all things considered, and I'm really sad to see it over. Even though it can make me rage, as uh, some other games could make me do, like it was just a, a fondness of rage that I'm going to miss because... It just gets better and better as time goes on. When you actually get through those difficult battles, you feel more powerful and you become more powerful and you can get through them easier and easier and keep on perfecting your skills. I'm definitely going to be maxing out every character to level 99 at some point. And I'm going to have a heck of a lot of fun doing bonus quests in the future, but that's another topic for another day. If we're not going to get into that stuff right now, that's for the credits. But right now, we're just trying to take down all these uh, sinking chumps. And keep on getting rid of them. And go in... Excuse me, I was trying to lock onto you, but apparently you don't even want to. You just want to be taken down uh, the normal way, or just without uh, me giving you additional damage, because you're just that stinking weak. Well, no problemo. If that's what you desire, then I will be happy to oblige. Or maybe not. Let's go ahead and just keep doing this. And this. Uh, come on, get down here. Get down here. And down. And down. And... Zoomy. Okay, fine. I don't care anymore. I don't care about your desire to, like, not have your HP seen on screen. Just give me your stinking lock on. Do that. And, wow, he was, like, almost dead. Of course, I'm doing it right the last second. And... Okay, we're good. Go, 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 go! Uh, just one more. There we go. Keep on going. Uh, just because I'm paranoid. And just because there was a big stinking honky jonky enemy. And, okay, I guess I can't go back anymore. Just want to make sure there wasn't anything left behind, but if there was, then it's too late. Go ahead and do that, and let's see what I can do with these dudes. Big ol' mamma jammas. Very weak to electric attacks, it seems, so then we got locked onto one of them. Just keep on doing that. And making quick work of them, Allegro. I knew you were the best. Oh my god, I'm still gonna love using Allegro. I love using everyone. And glad that uh, it all sort of worked out in the end. Kind of wish the minor characters could have been used a bit more throughout the LP, but at the same time, I didn't really know how to use them. And they're not as well suited for combat as the other ones are, so... Oh well, at least we got to see them at all, and that's a cool little upgrade that we got. If only we could have seen them all in, like, the background action. Like, that would be a thing, like, they're weaker characters. That would be cool they were just specifically for support in the main story mode. They would always be in the background helping out. But unfortunately, no, we can't have everything. I guess even the greatest games of all time had to have some things wrong with them. Just showing that, like, I'm not completely biased in saying that everything about Code Princess is perfect. As much as I adore it, there are some things that could have been polished. But the same goes for every game. I hope you enjoyed this game. Like, that's sort of the thing I enjoy most about this game in general, is that I get to introduce something that not a lot of people know about uh, for the first time. And that's sort of the feeling I got with Chibi Robo and uh, sort of with Klonoa. Um, I'm trying to think of some other games that I had that experience with. Um, Babysitting Mama, of course, is just a funny one, but, um, with Code of Princess, it was just, like, a game that I've talked about for so long, people know about it just because of me, and just getting to share it with all of you is just something that I really enjoyed being able to do, and I hope you picked up this game because of me. I know some people, uh, sent me screenshots of them getting Blade Strangers and Code of Princess, and that just always makes me happy, and, like, every time Code of Princess goes on sale on, like, the 3DS eShop, everyone always tweets at me about it, and it just makes me sinking happy. Uh, just always like a fun time whenever anything Code of Princess related happens because everyone always goes to me for it because they know I love this game so much and there's no one else that really does, but it's just fun. It just makes me happy that people always think of me and um, there's just so much joy in this game even if you don't play it, that, uh, even if my friends don't play it, there's just a lot of fun times to have with just the acknowledgement of it, if that makes any sense, but whatever. Keep on attacking. 
Uh, we're gonna do that because I'm not having fun with these guys. I should probably be doing the electric attack because that's what made quick work of their brethren before. So they're just gonna keep doing that. And oh, is he taking care of already? Oh, hello. He's almost dead. Uh, just go and drop kick. There we go. And wow, I killed them both at the same time. I'll leave that herb for later. Hello. Oh, we got the gargoyle dudes. Uh, I suppose you're also weak to electricity, are you? Um, we can try. Uh, he's pretty decently weak to it. Okay. Just keep on doing that rolling attack. Rocking and rolling. Go and do that jump. Get the extra boost of attack. And jump, and jump, and jump, and jump, and jump. Queen Destiny is gonna get her booty kicked by an elf who is a rock star. It makes no sense, but I don't really care because it's super awesome anyway. Uh, let's see if I can get out of here. It's really unfortunate if I died right at the end because I could see the throne on the horizon. We're so close to the end. Go ahead and see if we can do this. Uh, did we get rid of that guy? Yes, we did! Awesome! We just gotta lock on on this other dude. We'll be good. Oh, geez, get out of here. Uh, I could probably go for that meat right now. Of course, this guy's gonna be a jerk. Uh, how do I do this? Do that. Thank you. Get out of the way. And get that. Okay, cool. And, oh, uh, he's got like 4 HP. Great, of course. Do that. Everyone's just dropping hunks on me. Would have really preferred that during the alchemia fight, but whatever. And, hello. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. And you knocked me into the two herbs. Okay. At least I got to protect for the majority of that. Uh... Oh, he's too tall for me to guard. I have to do it in the air. God darn it. Okay, go. Uh, do that. And... We're good. Queen Destiny, your time is up. <laughs> I must thank you all for bringing me the Holy Sword. Did you come here to witness the resurrection of the great fallen angel, Distille? No, we're here to stop it. Oh? My dear guardian, where's your lovely code? No matter, you humans are powerless to stop me. Not even the gods were able to stop me. Nothing is beyond the gods. They have given us everything we need to purge your sins. <laughs> Is that so? How foolish you mortals are. I have tricked the gods themselves. How? It was simple. I shattered my code and dispersed it amongst you mortals. The gods have no clue that I survived. Ha! Huh. Looks like you made a big mistake then. You'll never be reborn now. I do not make mistakes. You will learn that soon enough, mortal. If your code is shattered, it's over then. Not even you can fix it. What a shame. This might be true, if not for the deluxe caliber. With it, I can recombine the codes again. Don't you see? That sword draws all the codes to it. That's why you wanted the sword so badly. And here you stand. You've brought me the very things I seek. The sword and my codes. <laughs> I am indebted to you all. Only now can I be reborn into this world. No. Let me feel the sword's power. Let me feel my codes. So, so this is why our auras reacted to the sword. Not the paint grunt. Don't underestimate us, Distil. You will not succeed. The sword may be your only hope, but it can also destroy you. My sister will end your life. Solange has the code of princess. You would do well not to anger me. Now that I have my codes, not even the gods themselves can stop me. I am Dio 
chase Diablos to steal. Angel of death, destruction, and awkward social situations. Well, at least she admits it. Your sword cannot kill that which cannot be killed. This is probably a good time for a necromancer curse. Don't make me laugh, you deformed creature. You cannot harm me. Go ahead and try. If you insist. Huh? A piece of my coat is missing. Finally, this body came in handy. Zozo? I lose body parts left and right. Find new ones. You know how it goes. You... You lost a piece of my code? I guess. Whatever. You vile zombie child! How dare you mess with my code! Zombie? See, now I don't even feel bad for losing your stupid code. You impudent whelps! All of you! Hey, looks like you're in trouble. This is for all the innocent animals you hurt. I think someone needs to wash her mouth out with a good clean bar of soap. Is it time for Operation Kick Her Butt yet? I spent most of the trip here coming up with that one. You may have the power of the gods, but we control our own destiny. And we will stop you. So prepare to be stopped. Don't hold back, guys. Final battle! This is the final battle in the game against the fallen angel to steal. Now, as if you actually needed me to tell you this, this fight is really stinking insane. Basically, every single tip I gave you over the course of this game, use it right here. Make sure to use the rails to your advantage, never stay in one place for too long, but also make sure you could get in for the kill. Uh, do and as many combos as you can, but not overdo it, just so you could uh, get out in time before she counterattacks. And just keep on keeping on, that's really all I could say. And uh, don't use your burst all willy-nilly and whatnot, especially in the AX version. Because this fight is really stinking annoying and evil and horrible and I hate it. Though it's not that difficult to keep your own HP up, as you can see. It's not as terrible in that regard, which is nice, but it's more so difficult to just do damage to her because she's got so many stinking projectiles and so many stinking little nuisances that keep you from actually getting close to her so you can do damage yourself. Like the stinking shield that lasts for so stinking long, you have to outright wait for her, uh, you have to like do nothing for a few seconds just so you can get uh, her to put the shield back down. And all these machines and things that she whips out, it just makes it so you can barely ever get close to her. She kind of reminds me of Lena, though, now that I think about it. just like this uh, one character that has like all this uh, crazy giant robotic things around her. She's got like a clockwork version of it, but Lena's got like more uh, computerized robotic version of it. I wonder if Lena was sort of inspired by uh, DeSteel's design. That'd be kind of interesting. But whatever, this fight is really stinking annoying and difficult to just get done, though we're going to get it done regardless. Kind of wish we had all of our characters helping us in this final battle, but unfortunately that's not the case. Though I guess that would have made it too easy and whatnot, so they couldn't have done that. Uh, but whatever. Uh, you actually do need to fight this final battle with every single character, though, all the main characters at least, before you, uh, in order to get all the special missions unlocked in mission mode. So, if you're trying to unlock all of those, then have fun uh, playing the final boss with every single character, or with, uh, or just get everyone's level 90. Uh, either way, it should be good enough for you to do things, whatever. It is uh, not the most difficult thing to do once you're at level 99. This fight ends in like 5 seconds if you have a 99 character. And yes, according to contra contrary to popular belief, even though I've been bragging about this entire time, I have done this fight with a level 1 Allegro before, just wanted to see if I could. I don't know how I did it, but whatever, I got like 50 stinking levels afterwards, which was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately I wanted to uh, stick with Solange, unfortunately I have to use the main character, because it is her final battle, I like to have it be appropriate and all that jazz. She is the hero that we need and not the one we deserve, so we are going to be using her for this fight. But yeah, here's where things get really stinking horrible. She starts releasing all these rings and they start scattering around the entire field, and they only ever shoot the giant stinking mega laser, which could get rid of all your HP really stinking quickly. 
it is absolutely horrible and there's no end to these either you just have to keep on putting up with it for the rest of the fight which is horrible you could get rid of them they don't have that much hp it's just that she can regenerate them as much as she wants so it'll only help you for a short amount of time if you get rid of them so just do it if you have the ability to if it's easy for you to get close to one of them and just make sure that you're never in the same uh track as one of them when they're about to go off like that one right there and right there and that's not even the worst part she does have like one more phase that she whips out right at the end i know i shouldn't be saying it right now but whatever we got her all in the red health which is nice but she does start using like a ton of different attacks uh once you get her down to like less than a thousand health which is really horrible like right when you think you have everything sorted out she starts whipping all these new attacks and it's really terrible but you know what, I think I'm going to try and make it so she can't even get to that final phase. I know that seems sort of cheap and like it's sort of important to show off all the phases of a final boss and whatnot. Basically, she just uses a bunch of attacks that solidify you over and over and over again. And it does a lot of stinging damage like right at the end. It is really stinging terrible and it's really disheartening to lose the final battle when they're at less than 500 HP. So you know what, I'm not even going to give you that chance because this battle is over! being awesome you should try it sometime it's not over yet fools i just need the stone she's getting away everyone let's move destroy the stone so she joined her life force with it we have no choice we must destroy the stone no why not show of hands do any of you really need magic it's not just magic the monsters will disappear too sounds like a win-win who cares about some stupid monsters in the past mankind prospered and spread out across the entire world and in doing so, we consumed the planet's resources. We destroyed our species. The gods gave us the Empyrean Stone as a punishment. It's here to protect us from ourselves. How does that work? As we use magic, we create monsters. They in turn keep our population in check. Destiel needed to use magic to be reborn, and that's what made all the monsters. If we destroy the stone, magic and monsters will disappear from this world. And mankind will once again prosper unchecked and destroy itself. But if Destiel is reborn in a thousand years, is that any worse? So long as you decide.
the fate of the world and all of our futures rests in our hands. I'll leave the decision up to you. Whatever you think would be the best suitable choice for our heroes, for all the people of this world, and for the future of this kingdom and this planet. What do you decide? I leave that decision up to you.